What is up, my cool customers? It's Goosey here. We got an Wi Fi battle against a guy by the name of ProTank1447. Awesome guy. Um, this is featuring one of my favorite NU teams. If you enjoy the battle, make sure to drop a like as well as check out PMP Beta and my channel if you enjoyed the narration. So, without further ado, here is the battle. He's the only one Doug Trio here, and I'm going to lead off with my Braviary. The reason I love Braviary is because I had a feeling he was going to lead off with his Doug Trio, and I did not want to get Arena trapped this early in the battle. So I'm going to switch out to Tho here, kind of predicting the Stone Edge at the same time, knowing I could take most of his hits because I am super, super bulky. Uh, he went for the Reversal here, which kind of makes me think that he's Focus Sashed, uh, kind of a Stealth Rock user. And he goes for the Stealth Rocks here, as so I go for the Substitute, thinking I could possibly set up on him. And since I'm Arena Trapped, I really have no choice. I mean, I could Circle throw him out, but um, I want to take advantage of this and possibly set up a couple Bulk Ups. He's going to go for the Earthquake here, and um, my sub surprisingly doesn't break so I'm gonna go for a bulk up and at this point I'm pretty sure I can set up on this guy all day so he's gonna have to switch out now since I don't have any hazards up there's no point of me really circle throwing his Pokemon so um, I'm just gonna set up another bulk up knowing that uh, he really can't hurt me and if he tries to break the sub I can just set one up again he's gonna switch out to Embor though and um, I'm thinking this is perfect because he's a physical attacker sure he can break my sub but um, with two bulk ups I know I can take another hit and probably take him out with two stone edges. So he's going to go for the flare blitz here. And that's obviously going to break my sub because my substitute was already hit by an earthquake. And um, Embor's got some sheer power. So I'm going to go for the stone edge. I'm going to miss, which really stinks. I really wanted to get some nice damage in Embor because this is a powerful Pokemon. And in the NU tier, it's a big threat. So he's going to go for a flare blitz here. And I thought I would take it well over half because um, two bulk ups and a massive amount of HP. But it gets a critical hit. And um, I'm not sure how much that mattered all over the battle, but that really aggravated me because, you know, I really wanted to use this throw, and I really haven't been using it too well lately. But uh, here I'm going to go into Kadabra, and uh, this Kadabra is Focus Ash. I'm just going to go for the Psychic. He traps me with Dugtrio, though, which is a great play because, as you will see soon, he has the Sucker Punch. And um, that's really going to hurt me because um, Kadabra has paper-thin defenses, like paper, paper-thin and uh, luckily though I'm Focus Sash and I can just take him out with the Shadow Ball. I went for the Shadow Ball in case he was going to switch out for some reason. I know it would kill Duck Trio anyway. So he's going to go back out to Embor here. And I was thinking, why would you go back out to Embor? I'm just going to go for the Psychic. But uh, he's going to go out to uh, his Grumpig now. And uh, Grumpig tanks that Psychic like it's nothing. Because Grumpig's um, special defense stat is just unreal. And uh, at this point I'm thinking that he's a uh, special defensive wall if not like a special attacker. So I'm going to go out Cordelia here just thinking uh, it's a perfect time to set my Stealth Rocks. I mean, I'm a special defensive wall, and he really can't hurt me too much except the Toxic if he has it. I thought most of these things carry Thunder Wave anyway, but um, as you will see right about now, he actually carries the Toxic. Um, Yeah, I really didn't know that because I don't really face too many of these Grumpigs, but um, it's an awesome Pokemon, and after this battle, I'm honestly thinking about using one. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks here because the whole point of this team is to get a bunch of hazards up and then shuffle with throw and also um, have a lot of powerful, powerful Pokemon to just uh, make the other opponent switch out a lot so I can rack up uh, hazard damage and poison damage. So uh, here I really want to get a Toxic on his Grumpig, but what happens is he switches to Drift Bloom as I go for the Toxic, which is perfectly okay with me because um, a lot of these Drift Blooms these days tend to carry Substitute. I've seen a couple of Sub Calm Mining sets, and I've also seen some... Uh, substitute disable sets which are really really awesome um so yeah i'm just getting hurt by toxic here in after effects and he's going to switch out here again um i guess predicting the rock side because i do carry the rock side on this pokemon and i'm going to go for it here because i have no reason not to and after stealth rock damage Embor is uh going to be at a really low hp um due to the fact that she went for the rock side so credulity is just chilling here and i'm going to leave this guy in for death fodder because he is poison and a poison wall is not that great of a wall and um, with Drift Bloom um, coming in on Pond Stealth Rocks, I'm not too worried about him. And Embor's probably going to die from Flare Blitz damage anyway, especially if he's Reckless. I don't even know if that's released. But uh, yeah, um, he's going to now go into his Grump Pig again as I go into Magneton. I just went to my Magneton because he's my Choice Scarfer, and I can just Volt Switch out if I don't like the matchup I'm against. And since his Dug Trio's gone, it means I can just Volt Switch all day long. So he's going to switch out to Miltank. I'm not exactly sure what he was um, predicting there, but uh, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch and get Switch Initiative on this Pokemon. Now, um, I know Miltank's super, super bulky, so I'm just going to go into Braviary. And uh, this is Choice Banded. It's jolly, not adamant, but it is still Choice Banded. 
So I'm thinking here, a brave bird is definitely going to kill because, you know, I'm a braviary, have a very high attack stat, and I'm choice banded. It's got to kill, but, um, surprisingly, it leaves him with, like, one or two HP. Like, that thing was so low, and he's able to get off a milk drink. And after stealth rocks and, um, and, uh, brave bird recoil, I'm not looking too good. That milk tank just, uh, got a lot of damage on me, so I'm forced to switch out here because I don't want to, um, sack this braviary just yet, so I'm going to switch out to Garbodor. Thinking this is a good opportunity to set up some more uh, toxic spikes and spikes. He goes for the thunder wave here, and uh, that's not too bad because Garbodor is already slow, and the, he's not some type of sweeper, so I'm not really relying on his speed too much. Um, so here I'm just going to set up my first layer of toxic spikes as he goes for a milk drink to get back at full health, but as long as I can get two layers of toxic spikes up, things are going to be pretty nice. So I'm going to get my first layer up. Luckily, I don't get paralyzed, and uh, things are looking pretty good right now. Because as long as I can get that second layer up, as soon as Grump Pig comes in or um, Mill Tank, they will be badly poisoned unless they carry um, Heal Bell or like Rest or something like that. But uh, here he sees the Toxic Spikes. He's going to take advantage of um, only the one layer being up. Switch out to his uh, Gold Duck because Mill Tank really can't hurt me. And um, I'm guessing the reason he has Gold Duck on this team is because the the weather um, hail is. Uh, used a lot in NU and it's really powerful so here he's gonna go for the side shock I was just kinda predicting the psychic and if he went for the hydro pump I probably would have been screwed but um I knew that he was gonna go for the psychic because obviously Garbodor's weak to it and he went for the side shock which was even perfect because Magneton's defense is um way higher than his special defense I believe so here I'm gonna go for the volt switch kinda predicting the switch and if not it would have killed him anyway and I get switch initiative on this grump pig now, um, I'm going to go into Cadaver here, just wanting to fire off some Shadow Balls. I didn't want to go into Braviary just yet, because uh, I want to save him for later in the game. Hopefully, I can stall out these walls a little later, I mean a little more, so they're at a lower amount of HP. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here, just kind of scout what type of recovery he has, and what type of set he honestly is. I'm thinking he's especially defensive, because uh, how well he's taking my hits, but I don't know exactly what type of build he is. I saw the Toxic, and I saw the Psychic, and that's about it. But uh, here he reveals he has the, the rest, and uh, since I know he has Toxic and Psychic, I'm just going to take my chance here and set up a Calm Mind. I know he'd be a Sleep Talk variant, but uh, he doesn't have a big chance of hitting that actual Psychic to kill me. And if he goes for the Toxic, I have Magic Guard, so it's not really going to affect me at all. And as you see here, he just hits the Toxic, which is perfect. I'm going to go for the Shadow Boss to gauge how much it does after plus one Calm Mind. And um, it does a disappointing amount of damage. Then again, Grump Pig is very especially defensive. If um, I hit him on the defensive side, which obviously wouldn't do a lot anyway, because Kadabra's attack is really, really poor, it probably would have uh, done more. Actually, that makes no sense, so disregard what I just said there. Uh, yeah, just disregard it. Um, I'm going to go to Garbodor here. I know it's risky because he has a Psychic, but I do want to take advantage of the fact that he is asleep, and I'm willing to risk it and go for some more spikes so I can get Miltank down lower when he switches in. But uh, here's actually going to switch out to Golduck. And I get paralyzed, so yeah, that's not too bad. Um, one layer of spikes doesn't help that much, but it would have been nice. So I'm gonna go. He's gonna go for the hydro pump here. Actually, I was kind of staying in here just as death fodder, but uh, hydro pump is fine too. I was thinking he was gonna predict my magneton switch anyway. So this was a good play uh, for me because now he's gonna get hurt by the poison, and he's not badly poisoned. He only had one layer of toxic spikes when he switched in, so he's able to get off um, yet another hit. And he went for the Hidden Power, I guess, thinking it was something else. Maybe he thought it was Electric and not Grass. But I'm pretty sure it's Hidden Power Grass. And I'm able to set up that layer of spikes that I was trying to set up earlier. So things are looking pretty good right now. He's going to switch into his Drift Bloom. And that's not the worst thing. Um, I really have nothing to hit it except, um, what's it called, Gunk Shot, which is not very effective. But uh, I'm going to try. So I'm going to go for the Gunk Shot here and miss. I'm not too mad about that because its accuracy is really shaky anyway. And uh, the chance of me actually hitting that was not too much. I mean, I'm paralyzed. I think it's got like base 70 accuracy. It's basically like a poison type focus blast. But here he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. And this is fully defensive Garbodor. And I live it, which I was really, really surprised about. I'm going to go for the Gunk Shot. Luckily, I break through the Paralysis and I hit it. And I break the Substitute, even though it's not very effective due to the fact that it's Ghost type. So he's going to get his leftovers here, and he's going to start getting hurt from poison. This Pokemon is actually badly poisoned, and I'm really happy he got that Toxic on this guy, because obviously it's not going to get affected by the Toxic Spikes I've up. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp, I guess, thinking that uh, I was gonna, that he was going to go for the Shadow Ball, and now it's going to switch out to Braviary. 
But I was just going to stay in because honestly, I wasn't even thinking about that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take out his, uh, what's it called? His uh, Drifloom. So now he's going to go into his mill tank here. And um, I'm a little worried about this Pokemon because the only thing that can take it out at this point is a Choice Bandit Superpower. And after the Stealth Rocks and Spikes, he's super hurt. He goes for the Heal Bell and um, I'm just going to go for the Explosion uh, because honestly, I want to fight with this guy out and I want to get a good switch in, that being Braviary. But um, I love Explosion on this guy. I know it's nerfed, but it has gotten me out of so many sticky situations. And uh, here's a perfect example. After the Explosion, he's at a point where um, he can be easily revenge killed for my Brave Bird by my Braviary. So uh, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird here, and uh, I'm going to take his ass out. So now all he has left is his Grumpig, and I know I can take it out with one Brave Bird because Grumpig is um, more specially defensive, and he's got a pretty poor physical defense. But if you use him correctly, he can be a huge threat to uh, any team. So I'm going to go for the Brave Bird here and finish this game off in style and take him out. So that was a good game. Uh, Prone to take 1447. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. And if you did, make sure to drop a like and uh, check out PMP Beta and check out my channel. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.